Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? BANGLE here coming back at you with another video. And today we are back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty as we play the UNLV Rebels. Here in week six, they are one and three. We are coming off our first loss. Georgia Tech is uh, really, really good. <laughs> that's that's what it comes down to. They were really good. Today, the Rebels are less really, really good. And I will update you guys on recruiting because there are some interesting new developments. We're going after some players with a low lock percentage. So I will take you down all the way to my the bottom of my unorganized list. And meet Reggie Harris, four-star gem tackle out of Park City, Utah. Great run block and pass block, and he's very strong, great acceleration. 80 overall gem. Might be able to land him. Brandon Campbell out of South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I didn't even know they separated him. It's like the, uh, like Sudan. Maybe not the exact same. He's very good. Insane speed, great coverage all across the board. 88 man, 85 zone. Very fast at 92 speed. We are trying to get in the race for him, just to see where we stand. Jake Reed out of Downers Grove, Illinois. Going to be real hard to get him. We're just, you know, trying to gauge where we are and seeing if we can get in the race for him. He's got 80 speed. He's got great elusiveness, 86. Going, you know, more into that, 91 th uh, spin move, 91 juke move, uh, 77 ball carrier vision, 86 break tackles, very high. And he could be a quarterback. 80 speed, 86 throw power, 86 throw accuracy. He also could be a receiver. Low catching, but good zone. Or excuse me, good spectacular catch. Good route running, good release. He also has good zone coverage. Somewhat. Good pursuit. This is kind of the jack of all trades player. Should I, should I say... Should I say jake of all trades? Yeah, it was great. Terrence Allen. Gem wide receiver. High route running. High catching, not great spectacular catcher catching traffic, but good route running and catching. Good injury, good speed, good acceleration, good jumping. And he's in a pipeline state out of Belton, Texas. We'll see if we can get any of these players. I really want Reggie Harris and then probably Terrence Allen and then Brandon Campbell. Very high overall players. Obviously, it'd be cool to get Jake Reed. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any of those players, but I am giving it my best shot. We're also going to use our coach upgrade before we go any further. I'm also going to purchase the opener, which is increasing our recruiting points by 500 for the first seven weeks. Now, we're already in week six. I didn't save that. All right. We're already in week six. So this is really more of an upgrade for next season. It's going to work for these two, which I think is going to be impactful with uh, spreading our points a little bit better. Because the easier it's going to be uh, down the line when we have more points, it's just going to be, you know, that much easier with 500 extra points every week so we can go after some more players. So I've just kind of spread it around to everybody, including uh, some of the new players we're going after. I think those are long shots, but you never know. Like, I never thought we'd be able to land Omar Williams, the five-star freshman receiver out of Bell Chase, Louisiana, but we did. We're actually better than the UNLV Rebels. And let's get back in the win column. That's what I want. A win here today. It's UNLV. Like, we should be able to beat them. UNLV versus Ozark State. Coming to the saloon at Dual Field. It's the Rebels, the fake outlaws versus the real outlaws. And today, we'll call this the Outlaw Bowl. As we find out who the real gunslingers are today. My bet is on Ozark State. Robeson in the backfield. Oh, we missed. We missed pretty bad. Okay. This one might not be as easy as I initially thought. Oh, and they run hurry up. Great. Oh, that's a good pass to Faulo. Giovanni Faulo. Fa Faolo. I don't know. Play action. We can't get to the quarterback. He's going to take off. Somebody get to him. 
Uh, and he's going to throw off one. Mike Lee runs past him, and finally Colt 45, Colt Nash, comes back to make the tackle. A weird is, like, not coming to play. This is like the UAB game, where on paper, based on our performances against better teams, we should be able to mash them, and they're coming out and they're playing. It's got to be this rain. That's going to be a touchdown. What are these names? Allen... What is that, Kui? The third? All right, Colby, let's ball out today. Always the goal. And we are rolling out, looking for something. Colby Spencer, still going. Ducking out of bounds after a great gain of 13. Uh, trying to cut it outside with Scott Lewis. We're gonna end up losing a yard. That's frustrating. Run an option. Colby, pitch to Scott Lewis. We're going to spin back through the block, hopefully. Probably a juke would have worked out better there. Third and seven. Let's go to the running back. Scott Lewis out of the backfield. Love that play. Hitting, hitting him on like a makeshift wheel almost. Rolling out with Colby. We got space. We're just going to slide. And it's going to be Scott Lewis who's actually injured. He has a shoulder injury. That's no good. Kedrick Cunningham is now running back one. Is Colby looking for a fan in the stands, maybe? On the run. Complete to Omar Williams. Great catch through traffic. Pressure coming in. Decent throw as well. But it looks like Colby Spencer is injured. Nothing new. Pedro Goddard will come into the game. And we'll, we're going to try an end around to Hunter Register. And he's got a rushing touchdown. Rogers going to run. Good tackle from Devin White. It's going to be third and five. Rogers gonna run again. Devin White makes the tackle. It's gonna be fourth and one. I don't know what that crawling is. I kind of like it. He's an animal. Ooh, Colby back in the game. There we go, baby. Of course, we're gonna roll out. Omar work up field. Spencer on the run hits him. Ooh. Oh my God! Why didn't the juke work? Omar up the field complete. And Omar Williams has a touchdown, 46 yards to the house. The five-star true freshman out of Bell Chase, Louisiana. I don't get tired of saying it because he just gets in the end zone, and I love it. 14 to seven in favor of the Outlaws as we came out gunslinging today. Oh no, Williams is gonna break that. Devin White falls down. Robeson one-on-one, -on -one. make the tackle. Thank you, saves a touchdown. And our tackling woes continue. That's my bad. That's a touchdown. Giovanni Fulo. From Armani Rogers. Play action. Which is a bit hard. And it's going to be tied up. There we go, Kedrick. He's got the moves. Good read option. We're going to spin back. Ah. Want to hit the hole. How do we only get three yards? There we go. Scott Lewis wide open. Nobody picks up a block. We're going deep. Omar in traffic. He holds on. Omar Williams. What a beast. All we gotta do is throw the ball to Omar Williams and it's guaranteed yardage. Omar Williams open on a slant. We get it to him. He's down inside the five. First and goal handoff goes to Scott Lewis. Untouched into the end zone. And we retake the lead 21-14 as Omar Williams is the MVP of that drive. What a catch in traffic. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Jake Rodriguez, a tight end. 
Saves a kickoff return touchdown. What a weird game. And it's all coming back with a clipping at the end of the play. Oh, that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. It's going all the way back to the UNLV 12. To read option. Oh, no. Oh, no. Armani Rogers has space. How is he still going? Unbelievable. He picks up 28 to end the first quarter. Make the tackle. Make the tackle. Thank you, Colt45. That's, I guess, a tackle for loss. It's a tackle for no gain. Second and 10. We just can't seem to stop them. Oh, nearly intercepted by Mike Lee. That would have been his first interception as an outlaw. And he drops it. That's, a, that's wide open. We got to switch on. Chris Chase, it's intercepted in the end zone. And we're going to take this one out as well. To the 16. All right. Great play by the junior college transfer. There we go, Chase. Good block. Throwing deep to Omar. And that's intercepted. It's going right back. It's underthrown. We had him over the top. You're killing me, Colby. That's a tough throw, to be fair. But, jeez, man. Going deep. Oh, my God. It's nearly intercepted again by Chris Chase. Mike Lee saves a touchdown, but Brandon Presley picks up 52. Oh, who's so close to interceptions? Or an interception. I, I don't know why I pluralized that. But I want, I want to say back-to-back -back interceptions, but it wasn't technically back-to-back. -back. Is it probably going to run the ball now? Get over there. Good tackle. Lexington Thomas has nowhere to go. That's number 23. Free safety, Devin Robeson. Throw it underneath. Good defense. <laughs> yeah, boy. Armani Rogers now six for nine. Nice, nice work from the defense. Right, we're looking to change his nice game, though. Let's step up. Rogers taking off. Nowhere to go. Feels like our first sack in like two weeks. This is Deontay McKeon. Great work. It's gonna be fourth and goal, and we're gonna hold on to the lead. Same play, that was just an interception. Omar Williams has him burned. I want to throw it so bad. Omar, up the middle, first down. He already has, he, he's accounting for all of our receiving yards. But how can we not? They have done a pretty good job with shutting down the run, but they have no answer for Omar Williams. And we're gonna throw it up to him again. Colby Spencer puts it on the money for Omar. Touchdown, 60-yard bomb. Omar Williams with his second touchdown of the game, and he keeps eating. We're going to take a 28-17 lead as he is undoubtedly having his best game. He will be a beast for us. This is only his true freshman season, as I'm sure you guys are very aware of, as I say it very often. But what a throw, what a catch. I need more of that. Read option. Oh my god, what a tackle. That's Chris Outlaw wearing number 15 wrapping up. Most unlikely of players to get a tackle for loss, but hey. Next man up. I love it. Third and 11. Come on now. Rodgers airing it out deep. Well off target. And on fourth and 11, I imagine the Rebels will punt. And they will. Oh my God, Kedrick Cunningham, he's still going. What a return. Unbelievable. That was ridiculous movement. Kedrick Cunningham, what a fun gadget player. We struggled to get Scott Lewis going. Five rushes for 16 yards, as you saw that stat that just popped up. And we're trying to find space and we just can't do it. Tried to juke back into the hole. And uh, what, the names on this team are pretty incredible. Only averaging 2.7 yards per carry. Omar Williams seems to be the one way we effectively move the ball. And they're blitzing. We're going to find Omar, though. First down. He spins out of bounds, picking up 15. How many yards does he have? Oh, 232? <laughs> 232 receiving yards and two touchdowns. 
accounting for what 85% of all the team's offense. Omar Williams, that's gonna be a tough catch. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have one read right now, and it's throw the ball to number one. I'm, I don't think I'm ready to embrace him as number one on the field, number one in your heart. But he certainly is number one on the field. He has been incredible. Number one target as we're going to go to the outside now. That is Register picking up the first down. 16-yard catch. Scott Lewis, let's juke back into the space. Nearly got there. Maybe Kedrick Cunningham can find the end zone. We spun back. I don't know why I can't run the ball the way I usually do. My timing's just not right right now. Third and goal. Read option. Colby Spencer, touchdown. Something we haven't seen in a while, honestly, is a Colby Spencer, read option, touchdown. How is he still breaking tackles? Come on now. Thought we were better than this. Wrap up. Rogers trying to run. Somebody wrap him up. Send him off slaughter. Good tackle. He still picks up four, but that's good. Oh, that's wide open. Ooh. Big hit from Derek Higgins. But they do pick up the first down. It's good for the highlight tape of Higgins, showing that he can kind of do it all. Hey, NFL scouts. I know no one's in attendance here, but that was a nice play. We'll send it to an email, maybe. Rodgers trying to run. Nowhere to go. He's sacked by Sandoval Slaughter. It's good to say that again. I feel like it's been a while. And they will call timeout number two. A minute left here in the first half. Second and 13. We'll see if they can find the end zone. Still a very close game, of course, with them having the ball. Even closer. 35-17 if they score a touchdown. It'll make it 35-24. And they are certainly not out of it. Rodgers going to run again. He has nowhere to go. He still picks up one, but that Daryl Bradford making the tackle. Should have been a sack. Unfortunate, but it's still a great play as Daryl Bradford's been incredible. Just a little quiet recently, but he had a great second half last year. He's a second half player. And Sandoval Slaughter, big tackle. We're going to call a timeout with the quick strike receivers on this team. I think we can score a touchdown. Kendrick Cunningham needs to give us good field positioning, and then we're going to be in business. All right. All right. I think Omar Williams has him burned. We're going to throw it up deep. And it's intercepted by Stevenson. The ball's underthrown. I know I'm only throwing to Omar Williams recently. But how can you blame me? He's been playing amazing. That's a wide receiver that just made the interception? Okay. I mean, we had him over the top. It's a tough throw. What a spin move by Fisher and we're going to fall down. Mike Lee hits him. They're going to have 12 seconds, one timeout. Would love to keep him out of the end zone here. We should have, but these turnovers are, are hurtful. I hate them. Good open field tackle by Mike Lee. I would have thought that that'd be UNLV's final timeout, but the clock stops on first down, so I guess they're probably going to go for a spike here. No, they're going to run a play. All right. I mean, this is a final play. They're not even going to snap the ball. Yikes. Pretty great clock management. Gotta love it. I don't know where Devin White got that black helmet from. We don't assign those. We don't wear black helmets. Where did you get that? Who gave that to you, Devin? There we go, Scott Lewis. Finally have some room to run, and he fumbles. Jake Rodriguez recovers, thankfully. I'm pretty much done with Scott Lewis today. I keep trying to feed him, and he keeps letting me down. Let's give it to Omar. I mean, that's just really the move, isn't it? Omar Williams wide open on the post. He catches it, holds on through traffic, picks up 31. And that is the school record for receiving yards in a game. Omar Williams breaks... 2008 wide receivers record <laughs> and he's only a freshman stop getting open and I'll stop throwing at you a 
That's open. There we go. It's Rob Gaither. Went for the hurdle. Stopped just before. He picks up 13. And we got first and goal. His first catch of the game. This is not a huge shock. It's a play I've actually never seen before. It's called setup. And it's set up perfectly. I don't... All right, I'll take it. Colby Spencer has another rushing touchdown. And we're going to go up 42-17. Big hit by Robeson, but Darren Woods picks up 16. That is uh, that is brutal. We almost had him in the backfield. Incomplete pass. Rodgers throws it out of bounds, and he's looking nothing like Aaron Rodgers. Probably because they don't spell their name the same way. It will be fourth and eight. The Rebels will punt. Also, it might be because he plays at UNLV. Not a great school. Aaron uh, Rodgers went to Cal. They produced some all right QBs in their in their time. If you think Jared Goff is good, which yikes. That's wide open deep. Colby Spencer. Uh, not quite on the mark there. Although I wish he would overthrow it rather than underthrow it. More often than not, but no. That's a new one for him. He doesn't overthrow that often. Scott Lewis. Ah, big block from Omar would have been nice there. As Scott Lewis just followed him. Everyone gravitated towards the receiver that's been torching him today. They forgot about the running back out of the backfield. That's open and wide open. Hunter Register. With that, one hard move. Look at the juke. Juked him out of his shoes. He just doesn't have the closing speed to get to the end zone. The finishing speed. But a big gain, nevertheless. There's Scott Lewis again out of the backfield. Big catch. Third and four. Scott Lewis has 10 carries today. 2.5 yards per carry is terrible. And we're going to take a sack. Just looking for something to get open. Not moving at all. That would be Saladoa Alo Wiley. Probably pronounced Willie. <laughs> I don't like it. And it's Pete Riley. Been a while since we've seen you for a field goal. 45-17 in favor of the Outlaws as we certainly are winning the shootout. It's a run. Great pursuit from Deontay McKeon. Love that. Look at Daryl Bradford with the power. That's Deontay McKeon in coverage actually making a big hit. But that is a completed pass unfortunately. And don't you feel like it's been a while since we've really seen Devin White make a big play? Or Daryl Bradford? It's been a little bit annoying. Rogers going to take off. Big tackle from... There he is, Devin White. And that's wide open. Chris Chase. Brutalized in coverage. I need to get Albert Johnson back in there. Throw at me. Oh! It's incomplete. Daryl Bradford was so close to intercepting that. I don't think he knows how. Right, we got Albert Johnson back on the field. And Rogers going to run. Devin White runs past him. No. They're going over the middle. I'm playing man coverage on the tight end there. The flat was open. Or at least maybe it looked like it might have been. And they just, uh, they don't, they don't test me. Wise decision. Clinton McKeon now in the game. And it's a pitch towards that side. What is happening? That's maybe why Clinton McKeon doesn't play that much. Oh, they do run it. Clinton McKeon runs past him. And big hit by Devin Robeson on the one yard line. One second left. First and goal. Here in the third quarter. And we're going to run commit. And hope it works out. It is a run. It did not work out. Start of the fourth quarter. We can pretty much just ice it at this point. But, uh, you know, we're outlaws. We go into shootouts. We're not done with points. Wide open. 
They didn't account for the tight end, Jake Rodriguez. Big gain of 30. Wide open. That's Ryan Muller. Muller, first down. There we go, Scott. That's what I'm talking about. And that is the school record now for passing yards in a game. This is a record-breaking day for a lot of players. And we only have two passing touchdowns. Kind of weird. Oh, look at Colby Spencer. Oh, we stepped out of bounds. No. That was for sure a rushing touchdown. That would have been number three on the game. Hand off to Scott Lewis. He's got a TD. And we've dropped a 50 bomb on him. It's going to be 52-24. Oh, look at the finesse move there. Albert Johnson, big play. Chris Chase can't wrap up. Devin White kind of does. He brings him down. Albert Johnson just wins so quickly, but the secondary can't match up. I feel like if we keep playing with Albert Johnson and getting that immediate pressure like that, we don't even have to blitz, and we can just run flat coverages, make the quarterback throw the ball quickly, and that's a good way to force turnovers. Look at the spin move off the rip. But they just get rid of the ball too quickly, and we can't match. We might try to run man out of that. That might be more effective. Because he's just beating the coverage. Look at the interior spin move. And somehow he stays on his feet. He avoided the sack and worked back inside. He has 106 yards rushing at quarterback. Oh boy. And that's going to be a touchdown. Wow. It's Elijah Trosclair. Trosclair. I have no clue what these names are. <laughs> but... UNLV answers with a touchdown, and it, it's it's not helping my case here. I, I wanted a blowout. A blowout of the Rebels. And they're, in good fashion, rebelling. As Rutgers beats Houston. Oh, man, they're going for the onside? Really? Okay. I guess you're still in it if you, if you truly believe. It's Clinton McKeon. Look at the spin move. What a beast. Let's get him at running back. 547 total yards for us. 499 for them. <laughs> this game has well over 1,000 total yards of offense, and it's not going to stop anytime soon because I don't plan on slowing down. I don't know about the Rebels. I hope so. Colby Spencer has a ton of space. Give me a block. Check out the juke. Colby Spencer wrapped up from behind after a big game. Third and three. Omar Williams over the top. Oh my God, he dropped it. He dropped it on third and three. And now it's going to be fourth down. What do you mean? No, no, no. Uh -uh. After all that, he drops it. Having this game and he drops it another touchdown. We're going to throw to him again. He's going to fall down, but he picks up the first. As we're uh, nearing 500 passing yards. That's open. Should be a touchdown. Rob Gaither gets dragged into the end zone. 17-yard score. Colby Spencer's over 500 yards. Only his third passing touchdown. I say only. Like that's that's a pretty good game. Three passing touchdowns. Well, kind of. It is college. I don't know. I, I want four. I'm looking for four. But I'll tell you what. Omar should have caught that touchdown, man. He's nearing 300 yards. What is our school record? Has he passed it? I think he passed it. I think he passed it already. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Feels like blitzing is the absolute worst thing we can do. Because even though we get quick pressure, I mean, they throw the ball accurately so quickly. I'm not really sure what to do. Might try 4-4. This makes Johnson a defensive end, which is kind of weird with his speed. And he can't get off the block there. And Higgins is beat by Collins. I don't really have an answer for the Rebels at all. I don't know how to beat them. We're going to go to a 3-4 now. That puts whoever Mason is at left end. I like Johnson up the middle. Look at the spin move. It's so good. But, I mean, we just get beat. Woods dropped it, but that's a touchdown. 
That's gotta be an interception. No, it's not. It's a touchdown by Andre Collins. Armani Rogers throws his fourth of the game. I mean, it, you, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. It's the perfect way to beat the coverage. The anticipation and the timing on that was absolutely incredible. Honestly, like nothing I've ever seen before. That was that was so good. Hats off to him. And Colby Spencer has 565 total yards and five total touchdowns. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not done throwing the ball. You don't understand. I want points. What a lob pass. And Francisco drops it. I'm getting tired of receivers dropping the ball. We're going for it on fourth down. Fourth and three. It was actually recommended, which is interesting. And that's open. We find Omar. He jukes back, breaks a tackle, and has the end zone. He wanted it the hard way. And that is a school record for receiving touchdowns in a game. Omar Williams, a record breaker. We only had to force it in that, uh, that last drive. They just keep, I don't know, man. They're unstoppable. It's very frustrating. I don't know how they're doing it. That's gotta be a sack. Daryl Bradford, there we go, baby. Our third sack of the game. They're gonna run the ball now. Is that conceding defeat? Big hit from Mike Hitman Lee. That's gonna be the game, his eighth tackle. Wow. That's a user pick, easy reads. Pop on pop. And that is the dagger. Good final run for Scott Lewis, but that is going to be the ball game. Definitely his worst, his worst game uh, as an outlaw, as UNLV was very close to 600 total yards. Defensively, we're an abomination tonight, but we're going to look at the positives. We won the game. Colby Spencer was fantastic, uh, and above that, Omar Williams was fantastic. Who do you even give the player the game to? Personally, I think you have to give it to Colby Spencer. He just had so many total yards, so many total touchdowns. We'll go into the game stats here. Not scoring summary. Like Omar Williams was godly today. Made some great catches, but Colby Spencer, 555 yards passing, four touchdowns. Passing yards is a record, touchdowns is not. And then rushing, he had two touchdowns on the ground, 50 rushing yards. Scott Lewis, we just couldn't get it going. The last uh, play where it was only three yards, if you know the one I'm talking about, should have been more. Really should have been. But uh, a fumble really hurt him too. It was just, he was bad. So was Kedrick Cunningham. Hunter Register had a rushing touchdown. Forgot about that one. But receiving. Omar Williams, seven, or excuse me, 12 catches, 312 yards, three touchdowns. Incredible game. He also had a big drop. Scott Lewis had seven catches for 88 yards. Rob Gaither, three for 34 and a touchdown. Jake Rodriguez, four for 44. Hunter Register, two catches for 60 yards. We had a lot of people involved, even though Omar Williams went off blocking. Offensive line performed pretty well. As Omar Williams was such a stud this game. Deontay McKeon led our, set, our team in tackles for loss with two. Quarterback sacks, Sandoval Slaughter, Daryl Bradford, and Deontay McKeon all had one. It's a shame Albert Johnson didn't get one. And then interceptions for Chris Chase and Devin White. As uh, I, I was talking, like, I mean, he's not playing that well today. Uh, or lately and and he is but you know he's finally getting uh, a big stat there with an interception no tackles for loss though today no sacks and you do want to see that from your star middle linebacker you want tackles for loss but that is going to do it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one take it easy